welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I would share with you some tips for staying on track with your fitness goals and health goals for 2019. As I know a lot of people will set new goals at the beginning of the year to do more exercise, to get a bit fitter, to move more. They're kind of the stereotypical New Year's goals which is definitely very easy for people to keep up for the first few weeks of the year or maybe even the first month of the year but then that motivation is soon lost and you soon start to fall out of that fitness routine that you really wanted to get into at the beginning of the year. I definitely know that at the start of January the gym gets a lot busier and you gradually see how that declines throughout the year. So I thought that I would share with you some of my tips for staying on track and making your fitness goals achievable this year. My first one is to plan for the week and stick to it. If you pre-plan what workouts you're going to do, you're definitely more likely to do it and also stick to your plan because if you just sort of leave it to the day and you make a last minute decision, you might not feel like doing it and as you haven't got anything planned, you won't bother with it. So take a day at the weekend, maybe on Sunday, just think about what workouts you'd like to do that week, if there's any fitness classes that you'd like to do and if there are, then also book into those classes so that you definitely then go to them because if you just sort of think, oh, I'll leave it to the day before or I'll book just ahead of time, one, there might not be places left in the class and also two, you might reach that day and be like, actually, you know what, I don't feel like doing that class and I can't be bothered to go to it so at least if you've pre-booked it you feel like you've already made that commitment and you're a lot more likely to follow through and also by pre-planning your workouts you can ensure that you've got a good variety going on throughout the week and you keep changing it up a bit as well to keep it more interesting and keep you more motivated. My next tip is to try and establish what kind of time of day works best for you. If you've never really had a fitness routine before, then definitely try changing up when you work out because I know that for some people, definitely first thing in the morning works really well for them, whereas others prefer working out in the afternoon or evening, either after work or uni or school, whatever that might be. So if you've never really kind of established that, just try it out at different times of day, even if you've got an idea of when it might work better for you, just try changing it up as you might be surprised. I know that I've definitely always preferred working out in the morning as I feel like it just gives you that extra energy boost at the start of the day and it gets your body moving and it just makes you feel good for the rest of the day. But recently as well at uni I have been going to a lot of afternoon classes as well generally just because in the mornings either I have lectures or things don't generally start until later on and the things I want to go to are on in the afternoons so that's really my only option and at first I thought I wouldn't really like that but surprisingly I found it to be a great energy booster in the afternoon because often around sort of three, four o'clock, I'll often get that energy dip post lunch and it kind of hits me at that time. But then if I have a class at around normally five o'clock are the ones that I go to, I actually feel so much better afterwards. I feel re-energized and it helps to wake me back up again. So definitely change up your times and see what works better for you and what makes you feel great. Tip number three is to set individual monthly goals to help you to work towards your overall goal. If you have a little monthly goals that will help you take a step closer to your overall fitness goal, you're much more likely to achieve it as it seems a lot more manageable than just having this daunting overall massive goal that you would like to achieve. And it also helps you to think about how you can achieve it and how you're gonna make progress towards that. And then within your monthly goals, make weekly targets as well to ensure that you do reach that monthly goal. So by breaking it down, you can really help to get a lot closer to your main overall yearly goal than if you just looked at it as a whole. Tip number four is to try a variety of classes and workouts. As I was saying before, changing up your workouts keeps it interesting. But not only that, if you don't try a variety of different things, then you may never establish something that you actually really enjoy and you might be missing out on something. Sometimes there might be something that you think you might not like and if you go to one of the classes, Classes, then you might actually find out you really enjoy it and that it really works for you and it makes you feel really motivated and energized. I know that I definitely, since going to uni, have tried out a few different things as there was a lot of classes there offered that I'd never gone to before or that just weren't offered around me. And I've definitely found it an interesting way to keep changing up my workouts and try new things out and not to just be working out in the same way every time because that's great for a while at first and you feel really motivated, you feel good, but after a while it does become repetitive and it does become boring and also just by having a variety of things that you do enjoy it makes you more motivated and as you actually enjoy it you're a lot more likely to go to it because you see it more as a fun class as opposed to 
oh I've got to go work out and do exercise and I don't really want to do it and I'm not looking forward to it. And my final tip is to always just get everything out ready the night before or if you're working out in the evening or afternoon get it out earlier on during the day because that way if you wake up and you see your clothes there ready you've got your trainers out it's sort of staring at you in the face saying put me on you know you planned on doing a workout you should do it now and if it's also there it takes you a lot less time to get ready you just kind of pull it on and once you've got the clothes on you're sort of like I might as well do something now so if you get it out the night before honestly it makes it so much quicker to get ready in the morning you can get out sooner and it makes you so much more likely to do it or like I said if you are working out in the afternoon or evening then you could get it out some point during the day so when it actually comes round to that time that you're planning on doing a workout or going to the gym or going to some kind of class you've got it there ready and it just makes it so much easier because sometimes even just the effort in having to get changed especially in winter when it's colder as well I know it definitely takes me a lot longer and a lot more effort to get changed and get ready in the winter. <laughs> I just sort of stand staring at my clothes not wanting to get changed. But if you've got it out there ready then you don't have to think about it, your outfit's all planned and you can just get changed quickly and get off to your workout. So I definitely found that really helps, particularly for if I want to work out really early in the morning, just having it out ready when I'm half asleep to pull it on works so well. So those are my tips for helping you to achieve your fitness goals this year. I really do hope that you found this video useful. Let me know if you did and if you take any of these tips on board, as well as let me know if you have got any fitness goals for this year or any health related goals. Let me know down below in the comments. I do love reading other people's goals and resolutions for the year because I just find it sort of motivates you as well and gets you thinking about things that maybe you hadn't thought about. So definitely let me know if you're planning on increasing your fitness or setting any goals this year for 2019. I know one of mine is definitely some point this year I want to take part in some kind of running race. I was always that kid at school who just came last in every single running race that we did and I never really enjoyed it at all but it's something that I want to get better at and it's something that I really want to work on this year. Even if I just end up doing a 5k run, for me that would just be an amazing achievement to take part in some kind of race. So that is my goal for this year and like I said I'm going to try and set sort of monthly and weekly goals for how often I go running, how far I want to run based on the previous week or month as well. And we will see how that goes so now I've put it out there feel like I've got to do it more as well. <laughs> but I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. So be sure to smash a big thumbs up on it if you did. And also don't forget to click on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. It would be amazing if 2019 could be the year that we reach 1K. That would be another amazing achievement for this year. Also don't forget to tap on that notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.